It's 8.30. Everybody in this house except me and my oldest are asleep. I've been trying to keep quiet. I've been cleaning, tippy-toeing like a little mouse. I gotta get this cleaned up. I gotta get this seasoned. We gotta get it on the grill. So we're cooking. This is a 10 pound Wagyu standing rib roast. You can see all this incredible fat. This is a spectacular piece of meat. This might be the best piece of meat I've ever bought. So there's a whole bunch of ribeyes except in one piece and we have the bone. One, two, three, four bones. The butcher has already sliced off the bones and then tied them back up. That's incredible. The problem is I have to undo this because I want to season all sides of this meat. So let's untie it. And the reason I'm going to do that is so that I can season this whole side. I want all of this to be seasoned. You do want to cook it with the bone on because of all this flavor soaks into the meat. We're going to get this cleaned up. I'm going to rub it in some Worcestershire sauce. Then we're going to season it with hardcore carnivore and then some meat church garlic and herb. I like this flavor profile. We're using the Worcestershire sauce as a binder. It's great for meat. It's gonna add to the flavors. This is my favorite meat rub, period, end of story. That is my favorite seasoning. And then this is perfect for something like a rib roast. It's garlic, it's herbs. We're gonna coat this whole thing. You're gonna say, oh, that's so much seasoning. When you eat this cut of meat, this is the only slice, and this is the only slice that have seasoning on the sides. Everything else, the seasoning is just gonna be on the top. I'm gonna to cook this thing at 250 degrees, probably for four or five hours. Towards the end of the cook, I will crank up the heat. You could call it a reverse sear, but it's really just gonna be the one final little crust built on the outside. So let's get this all seasoned up, lathered up, and then we gotta tie it back up. We are all seasoned up. I've seasoned every inch of this thing. We've retied it to hold it together so the bones don't flap open. And we're good to go. Some people throw vats of butter in between the bones and the meat. I'm not gonna do that. There's so much fat on this because it's Wagyu. We're gonna leave it alone. I may baste this throughout the cook with more of the Worcestershire sauce. But for now, this is good to go. I'm gonna let it rest for a few more minutes just like this. Let the seasoning sort of soak in and here a little better. We're gonna get it on the grill at 250 degrees and we're just gonna let this ride. But for now, we're good to go. We're gonna get this on the grill. It is nice and early and I should hit my goal of getting this on there before nine o'clock. And then I have the rest of the day to drink, relax and just stare at this meat, make sure I did it right. We're at a uh, pretty much dead on 250. We're gonna get this bad boy in. The wife likes well done, so I'm actually going to load it up this way. The heat's coming from here, and this is the smaller side, so I'm actually gonna let this side get more well done than this side, just to help my wife out there and to help me out later. We'll rest it on the bones, and we're good to go. This will be in here for hours. We're about an hour in, we can see the bark's coming along, so I am gonna baste it, and this is just Worcestershire sauce and some of that garlic herb 
seasoning that we covered this with. We want a nice bark, but we also don't want the outside to just be insanely crunchy. And we'll do this every hour or so. Oh, you hear the sizzle? All right, shut it off. We're at hour three or so. I mean, and this thing, I mean, this could not look better. Look at this, look at this, look at that bark. We're gonna let it chill for a little bit. It's at like 116 degrees internal. And I'm gonna try to get it to like mid 130s. Then I'll take it off. It'll continue to cook after I take it off. I know medium rare is the way to go, but the wife's not gonna eat it for sure. A couple other picky people. So I'll get it a little past medium rare, maybe medium, something like that. Either way, it's waggy. It's gonna be delicious. All right, I think we're good. Get in here, let's check the temp. This is all the way in. 133, 135, 138, 140. We good, baby. We Gucci. Let's pull this out without burning my hand. Ha! Huh? Come on. 10 pounds. We got to let this rest. I'll put a little butter on it. We'll let it sit. The temp will come up and then we will slice and dice. Yummy! Look at this thing. It smells delicious. Tell me Angelo's got good meat. 11 inches. You can't beat Angelo's meat. There we go. Well, I do, no. constantly. All right, it's just gonna sit. Just like that? Just let it sit. Here we go. It's been resting for a little while. We're gonna cut this bad boy right down the middle. Oof. Oh, look at that. I forgot the bones were tied. We gotta cut the strings off. Oh my God, what a disaster. This is a perfect cook. There's four strings. Oh, look who wants to be on camera. Yeah, she does. <laughs> yeah, there's four strings, genius. Oh, I just wanted to do that. <laughs> Give me an idea. All right, here we go. The string holds in the flavor. We're unlocking the flavor. Oh, you need a string for that? Really? That's it. Video, I was trying not to laugh. It was okay. Your, your husband laughed while recording. I said, what? And then when he was done, he was like, you're just so corny. It's like, all right, Jay, guess who's getting a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? All right, here we go. We have to roll it off them bones. Oh, yes. What a disaster. I just dropped a chunk. But so smooth. The best day of Scout's life. Here we go. <laughs> Ta-da! We did it! All right, Tiff, I gotta put yours back on the grill for well done. What a joke. That didn't last very long, just a couple of bones left. Another slice. <laughs> Plenty of salad. We got the mac and cheese. We got the potatoes. We got the poppers. And kids got sandwiches. <laughs>